In order to get better at anything, you need to push past hard. You need to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. You need to go through awkward to get to awesome. In this video, I'll explain. Hi, I'm Del Gilbert with another Accelerating Excellence Insight. Years ago, I was working with a client to help them develop a new performance review system for their company. The time had come to share the performance re review system with all employees. So over a period of two days, the VP of HR and I were going to hold five sessions. Right before the first session, the Vice President of Human Resources asked his executive assistant if she would be willing to close out each session simply by sharing the timeline for implementation. He knew that she wanted to get into the field of training and he thought this would be a good experience for her. When he asked her, she was a bit apprehensive, but she agreed that she would do it. At the end of the first session, as she presented, she was visibly nervous and had a red rash on her neck. At the end of the second session, she was still visibly nervous, but less so, and the rash was more pink than red. But by the time the fifth session rolled around, she was gaining confidence and actually had some mojo going. You have to go through awkward to get to awesome. That's how you get better at anything. All growth happens outside your comfort zone. Let me explain. We all have three zones. A comfort zone, a growth zone, and a panic zone. If you want to get better at anything, you need to move from your comfort zone to your growth zone. Let me give you an example. If you want to get stronger physically and concurrently arm curl, let's say 30 pounds, you'll never get stronger by continuing to just lift 30 pounds. However, it's unwise and probably harmful if you try and lift 100 pounds. So how do you get stronger? You add a little bit more weight, maybe five pounds. And as you begin to regularly lift 35 pounds, that 35 pounds slowly becomes your comfort zone. You have expanded your capability. Think about teaching your teenager how to drive. The first time they're behind the wheel, where did you take them? Probably to an empty parking lot. Now, if you never got them out of their comfort zone, your teenager would be limited to driving around empty parking lots for the rest of their life. So you get them a little bit out of their comfort zone, probably take them to a residential area. Once they get comfortable driving in a residential area, you take them on roads with street lights and eventually onto highways. Now the panic zone would be if it was the first time behind the wheel, you took them out to a highway during rush hour. That's the panic zone probably for both of you. The panic zone overwhelms. The panic zone discourages. One more example. I try my hand at playing piano and I'm not very good. On a scale of one to 10, I'm probably a week two. But there is still some sheet music that is easy for me to play. Now, I'll never get better at playing piano if I continue to just play that same level of sheet music. However, I'd get overwhelmed if somebody brought to me a complicated piece of sheet music that was well above my current skill level. So how do I get better? By playing sheet music that is a little bit more challenging than my current level of skill. Here's my point. You need to do the task that takes you a little beyond your current level of capability. Pushing past hard is how you get stronger. The boxing great Muhammad Ali once said, he didn't even start counting his sit-ups until it began to hurt. When you are uncomfortable, say to yourself, this is cool, I'm growing, I'm expanding my capability. Fear and growth go together like macaroni and cheese. So, from time to time, 
put yourself in situations of discomfort. Life is boring and you're not getting better if you always stay within your comfort zone. Undertaking any new action brings new strength. So begin to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. That's how you get better at anything. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. I'm Del Gilbert, and this is another Accelerating Excellence Insight.